Hello and welcome to a historical domains tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to buy a Namecoin domain on Electrum. Additionally, before you do buy any domain, be aware that you need to be buying a domain that is standard. Any non-standard domains do not technically count as domains as they cannot actually be used as domains. Now, what is a non-standard domain? We do have a Medium article at a video that will be breaking these down fully. Additionally, you can also go to the Historical Domains Discord, and we do have a non-standard domain tab that runs through everything that makes a domain non-standard, which you should avoid. So definitely, before you go ahead and buy any domains, make sure to check those out so that you're not buying any non-standard domains, as they are not usable. So when it comes to actually getting the domain, you actually do it within the Electrum wallet on the Buy Names tab right here. You literally just type in the name and then you buy it. However, you might not be sure if that name is available or not. And therefore, we are going to first check on namebrowser.se. The link for this is in the description of this video. So let's say, for example, we want to get the Alluvium name. So no results for Alluvium means that this name has not been taken. If, for example, we search for Bitcoin, then what comes up is all of these names if a name is u slash, then it's actually not an official name. Um, it's only really the d dash names that that count. Um, so let's say, for example, Bitcoin for noobs. We'll click on that. And so this the status is actually expired, meaning that you could actually buy this name right now. However, the first registration was on May the 12th. 2015 which means that this name is not one of the 2011 og early namecoin names um for this example of how to actually buy one i'm going to actually buy d dash alluvium since nobody's bought that yet so i'm going to click check name availability domain alluvium.bit is available to register and then you click register the name and then in this part, you don't really have to type anything in unless you're transferring them to somebody else. You just click OK, enter your password, and then once that's been entered, then it takes about two hours for that registration to take place. Now, unconfirmed, but that only cost me 10 micro name coin, which is probably worth about like one cent. So it's pretty much free to actually register a name coin domain and to actually purchase it as long as it is available. Um, as another example, this D dash um, Bitcoin for noobs name, we can actually, which has been, it has expired, meaning that um, it's run out of name coin, it's no longer being paid for um, to be maintained. We can actually check name of validity here and is available to register. So I could actually register this name as well, click OK type in my password and once I've done that then I've now um, registered this name as well that's another unconfirmed transaction and those are taking place and will take some time to happen now when it comes to making sure that your name doesn't expire we will also have a tutorial on how to be topping up the balance of namecoin and how all of that will work and you can also find that video in the description of this one and also if you decide not to wrap your namecoin domain onto emblem vault to have it on the ethereum network but you decide to just keep it in your Electrum wallet, then you will have to renew it manually. And the way to do this, I will also be making a video on, which will also be linked in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful, leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel for more content.